Hello everyone, hi, I am Saite and welcome back to my channel Saite Equity. In today's video, I'll try to order the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between the IQ7 versus POCO F3 GT. But this time, I'll be using the 15 games. Yes, friends, 15 games. Let's see which UI is actually optimized to survive this kind of 15 games. The reason I am including 15 because in the previous test, I did include 10 games. And in the 10 games, both phones were able to handle 10 games in the background multitasking. And RAM management is really good for the 10 games and a lot of users they actually want me to push this kind of limits let's see by pushing these limits 15 games which phone will be able to survive this kind of extreme conditions so this is not the practical way to test but i just want to try to push the limits of this process friends snapdragon 870 and the fun touch ui versus the dimensity 1200 mi ui so this is what my main motive of doing this kind of video let's start with the basic reboot test let's see which one will be able to uh, restart faster so every time i do the speed test a lot of users did ask me can you do please do the restart test that is the reason i thought of including as well so this is going to be extreme test range 15 games is not a joke so the ui should be really very clean to handle this kind of 15 games so some of the uis they won't even handle six to seven games at all but these two phones were able to handle 10 games in my previous test that is the reason i thought of uh, using the 15 games test so let's see what gonna happen and in case if you want to download this punch all wallpapers check the links in description you can find the wallpaper play link and let me do to quickly start the test without wasting any time and all these 15 games are completely offline so we don't require any kind of wi-fi connection at all while playing these kind of games that is the reason i thought of including only offline games without any kind of wi-fi support Let's start the test friends without wasting any time. I'm really interested, not me, but all the users for the IQ7 people are really interested to know how well this phone will be able to perform. Because till now, IQ7 was the one which was able to handle this many games and close to 46 applications in the background, this phone. So that's what I'm going to check in this phone as well. The POCO F3 GT can do this or not. So right now, RAM availability, let me to quickly show you. First, before starting the test, I'm trying to show you each and everything, friends, uh, to make you understand what is happening between both US and both phones. And 2.4 GB is used out of 8 GB, and 5.2 GB is available out of 8 GB, as you can see. As you can see a clear difference. Let me do, um, do the math. So, in the iQ7 device, overall, the GB is available about 5.5. 5.55 GB is available as you can see if you do the math 8 GB minus 2.545 so this much of RAM is available in this phone and even the 5.2 GB is available in this phone that's a really good option to uh, see now let's start the test and without wasting any time and we got the 15 games ready here let me just quickly shut down these triggers I don't want those also in the disturbance but let's see so starting with the first game which is a uh, subway surf and during this time I'm not using any game turbo no ultra game mode nothing in the background that's the one thing which I thought of mentioning so no ultra game mode no game turbo because if i use them obviously they will delete everything in the ram management or so there's no point in doing it's uh, the closest phone so far i can see with the iq7 competition is the poco f3 gt yes this is so far the closest phone only the phone i got which can actually reach this kind of performance i mean in this kind of ram management not the performance this kind of ram management that is what i meant so you can see the speed test as well it's really impressive friends the poco f3 gt it's really good even though the benchmarks are uh, completely other side but day-to-day -day task and all this kind of testing is completely what tells the phone which phone has got what type of uh, level in terms of the performance and as i said there are some bugs with this poco f3 gt in terms of the miui not there's no problem with the phone or hardware nothing the problem only with the miui you can see the home page is getting refreshed always that's the one thing i'm not sure when they'll fix it not bad till now the speed test you did see friends the poco f3 gt was able to come up with the close the snapdragon 17 even sometimes this phone was able to open faster wow that's fantastic that's really good to see so next is a shadow fighter let's see i think both games did open at the same time not bad yes obviously next is a minecraft trial let's see this game which phone can actually open faster and the poco f3 gt was opening the game faster wow but did load faster but it's got stuck there let's see whether they load 100% or not how much time they actually require and 79 78 percentage yes the poco f3 gt did load the game fast as you can see a little bit faster not bad the poco f3 gt is giving really tough competition friends trust me I, from long time i am eagerly waiting to get a phone which can actually uh, come close to this iq7 device for a long time not only me even uh, my subscribers from the iq7 device they actually want to see the real competition because 
Every time I start a speed test with this IQ7 device, all the people will definitely guess the IQ7 will be winning. But right now we got the other other phone, which is a Poco F3 GT. So this is going to be really very very interesting. I'm very happy to see that Poco F3 GT can actually uh, do this kind of close to close performance. So this kind of speed test even I'll try to do with other phones as well. But no other phone, other phone means OnePlus Nord 2 and the Realme X1 Max. They did not cross the 10 games limit. That is the reason I did not include 15 games. Only this phone was able to cross that uh, opening 10 games in the multitasking. That is the reason I did include 15 games. So hopefully you will definitely understand. And now, finally, 15 games are completely opened in the background. This is going to be really epic. As you can see, 15 games. 15 games starting from the subway surf to completely end. Let me try to show you the RAM management. 7 GB of 8 GB is available. This kind of really joke, friends. It's not at all uh, true. It's not accurate at all 7 GB of 8 GB how come it is available I don't know so there's some problem I don't know there's some problem with MIUI and I'm not going to talk about those one every time so let's start with our last game stake ball let's see how many games will be opening in both phones if this test passes in this Poco F3 GT then I need to do some more extreme kind of testing friends extreme level I'll try to do that testing so which I mean I need to include even heavy games on the first and then to include mini games. So Minecraft no problem this trying to load both phones are same kind of situation only. Yes, shadow no problem and Angry Birds no problem. Fantastic crossy roads and two layers are completely clean in both phones. So both phones did open 10 games completely friends without any kind of refreshing. That's good. So next is the 11th game. Wow. It's fantastic to see 12th game 12 games are open in the poco f3 gt 12 games 13 games get away too and candy crush wow and service of that's really 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 great friends i cannot uh, believe that yes the poco f3 gt has got some kind of uh, thing in, the, in terms of the ram management and performance because i did not see this kind of level of performance in the mi linux device i'm not sure how it's possible in the mi linux device i did not see this kind of ram management and uh, even i don't have any kind of clue but still this phone was able to open 15 games in the background so i'm not uh, saying that this is so powerful but i just want to mention the ram management how much it's kind of good level so only highest level of ram management only those phones will be able to do this kind of performance not all the uis not all the us friends if you watch my speed test playlist you will definitely understand it's not all the uis i was really shocked really very 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 much shocked that's really good good thing friends with the poco f3 gt so now all the users who are actually planning to buy one of the phone i can definitely make another review which i'll try to include intense kind of multitasking intense kind of multitasking means battlegrounds mobile call of duty fifa and all the big big games asphalt and i'll try to include those games and i'll try to see the extreme multitasking so don't worry about that but this is next level guys this is really i like i like so far this kind of speed test i am really very much interested i do you can definitely understand how happy i am to see this poco f3 gt actually i got some competition with this iq7 monster phone because till now this phone was always dominating all other uis and all other uh, phones till now this in terms of the multitasking only i'm not talking about i'm not praising this phone about battery or camera or anything only about ram management and multitasking and performance that is what i'm trying to praise nothing apart from that nothing friends so but right now poco f3 gt is really good and let's check the ram availability how much it is and both phones and the ultra yes ram so 7.2 gb is used out of 8 gb and 3 gb is used out of 8 gb i'm not i'm not sure what is happening here but amount of ram they are showing it's completely uh not i'm not i'm not sure whether it's accurate or not but still so this is a complete speed test and ram management test comparison friends both phones were able to do at same speed some of the games were opened in this phone faster some games in this phone faster so equal and even the ram management was completely equal that's really good to see in both phones so thank you for watching this video friends and don't forget stay tuned for more updates from now i'll try to focus most of the videos on per performance comparison between these phones because this is the only one phone right now i got which can actually come close to the iq7 device very close equal i can say definitely so thank you for watching and see you in the next video friends i'll see you for more updates meanwhile bye